All right, here is a U-Bank uh, air conditioner, and we've got a failed W7459A1001, which you can't get anymore. Um, basically what's happening is it's uh, this terminal, Terminal 1, the yellow wire, Terminal 2, which is the black with the yellow stripe. That contact isn't being made. Uh, that's the contact for mechanical cooling. All right, so when we call for Y1 at the thermostat, it comes back to this point and either it switches it to two and makes mechanical cooling start or um, through this enthalpy control here, it will say it's cold enough outside and it will open up <coughs> the outside air. So what we're going to do is I'm going to stop the video here and I'm going to install a temperature switch and uh, show you how to wire that up. So here's what it looked like before. We have the enthalpy control in the way. Uh, enthalpy control is out of the way. And we've got a Johnson, uh, what is this, A19 BBC. Dash to C. Can you see that? Anyway, so like I mentioned, what's going to happen is this yellow wire that's on terminal number one. Is going to go on this red terminal right here. That's the common. And when the temperature outside is high, uh, whatever we set it to set for 80 right now if we set it for 60 if it goes above 60 it's going to switch over to the black wire with the yellow stripe and that goes on the yellow terminal the blue terminal is we're gonna make a jumper to go from here over to the hot okay so anytime we need to have mechanic uh, economizer we're gonna manually open this guy Okay, and all this other stuff's gonna go away. I'll show you that here in a second. All right, so we've got the yellow wire that was on terminal one is now tied to the red, which is the common on the switch. The black with the yellow stripe is now for the mechanical cooling. And I made a jumper, I just stole a wire from the enthalpy control. Uh, we're going power okay we're this is the power here on on red either we're switching power from here to here or we're switching power from here to here okay if we want economizer we're going to send power here now we need to neaten up this whole mess in here we've got a bunch of wires coming through here from the um, thermostat um, so not only are we pulling in contactors and pulling in fan motor relays. We're also sending information over here on these three relays. This white wire uh, is part of the W1 that gets cut and nutted. This one, this red wire here, no, no, no. This green wire right here is for the fan. It's a signal. Uh, it, enter it did energize up um, the economizer. Um, that gets cut, and then the last one is this orange. That one gets cut and uh, wire nutted. I believe that's it. And then again, we need to maintain this common right here. So we could take this common and tie it in with this common that's going back to the panel on the side. All right, the common blue wire is now nutted, wire nutted, and it's going back to the uh, common inside the electrical compartment. The white wire, which was the um, interlock for W1 heating, that's wire nutted. Fan, wire nutted. And this actually was another, um, it's not even a W2, oh, a Y2. It's um, uh, just another Y1 interlock all right so a couple things the control needs to go away so 
This is uh, blue is common, white is hot. That's going to get tied. This T and T1 down here, that goes away. That's these two wires right here that's going to get cut. And let's see if I can do this real quick. Here. So I've taken the screw out of this uh, economizer changeover control. And this guy is going to come off. Go away. Uh, blue wire. Common. TR1. And this yellow wire. That's power. Power that guy up. One more thing we need to do is we need to put a jumper between T2 and T1 on the motor. Alright, so where are we at now? There was another an additional wire um, coming from the compartment. It was on um, the same relay where we cut the um, the G terminal, the, uh, the fan. And what this did was this actually went to TR1. Um, anyways, I'm going to cut that make that go away. Here's the end result. Um, wires that were coming over here capped to the relays. Let's see what happens. Okay, so right now the economizer motor is stroking open. We are sending power from well, because I've got it turned up to 100 degrees, we're sending power from uh, the red to the blue which in turn is sending that power, driving that damper open. Okay. And then if we go back and drop that down, below the temperature outside, uh, after a time delay inside the unit, the compressor will come on.